Hello friends, today we shall show you the movement of a cyclone and how the movement of a cyclone can be tracked and its path can be identified accurately with the help of computer software and software based simulation models. As you can see in front of you there is a map of India and certain parts of Southeast Asia. This particular map has been created by cycloclaim.com website with the help of NOAA. NOAA is National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It is an American scientific agency within the US Department of Commerce. It basically measures the movement of different types of cyclones, hurricanes, tornadoes across the globe. So right now, as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five points. And what are these points? Remember, these particular points are showing the movement of the super cyclone. Right now, we know that Amphan is a super severe cyclone and the Indian Weather Department has already predicted that it will reach the Indian source on 20th May 2020, Wednesday, around 5.30 pm. So before that, let us try to track its movement and uh, let us try to identify its path. As you know, oceans and seas basically give birth to tornadoes, typhoons, hurricanes and uh, cyclones. And this particular cyclone, Amphan, is right now hovering over Bay of Bengal and it is slowly moving towards the Indian mainland. Before tracking its path, you should know that uh, when the cyclones are over the seas, they are much much more powerful and as they move towards the mainland, they slowly start losing the power. And it will happen in case of Amphan also. At the same time, we must show you the different structure of the path through which the cyclone will actually move. As you can see, this particular map is interactive in nature and we can change its structure like we can change it like this. At the same time, we can change it like this or we can change it like this. So these are the different modes of the map and the data, the model, the simulation is everything, all the technical parts have been done by NOAA on the basis of certain spaghetti simulation models which are used to track the movement of cyclones. Now if we move back to our original map, then you will see, so this is our original map and this is our starting point that is point number 1, this is point number 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let us zoom in on our point number 1. Now you see from this particular map point number 1, point number 2, both of these points are over Bay of Bengal. But point number 3, 4 and 5 are on mainland. Now if we click on point number 1, it will show you certain information regarding the 
super severe cyclone Amphan. It shows right now at this particular point Amphan is a category 3 hurricane and the time it is showing 19th May 2020 5.30 pm that's about 8 hours ago and at that point of time the speed was 115 mile per hour so friends see at this particular point the speed was very very high now if we move towards the next point that is point number two and click on it it shows Amphan is a category two hurricane and it also shows that it will reach to this particular point on 5.30 a.m. 20th May 2020 Wednesday that is about 4 hours from now and then its speed will be 98 mile per hour so you can see that as the super cyclone is gradually moving towards the Indian mainland, it is slowly losing its strength. At point number one, the speed was 115 mile per hour. But at point number two, the speed 98 mile per hour. But still it is lethal, very dangerous. Now let us further move towards the point number 3. Okay, as you see on point number 3, Amphan will become category 1 hurricane that is 5.30 pm Wednesday 20th May that's about 16 hours from now and at that point the speed of the cyclone will be 81 mile per hour that means it will further lose its strength the speed will decrease at point number two the speed will be 98 mile per hour but on point number three the speed will decrease and it will become 81 mile per hour now if we zoom in further now you will see lots of places lots of places lots of places at the same time you will see lots of lines these are the lines these are the lines please look these are the lines these are the lines so uh, what's the meaning of these lines see these lines are basically showing the entire path of movement of the cyclone because when the cyclone will reach the indian shore from here from here you can see it's being spread it out it's being spread it out spread it out like this why because the cyclones basically move in this way in this way in a circular way in a circular way as it is moving towards the indian source towards the indian mainland from deep within the bay of bengal it's getting spread it out see the diameter here the diameter of the cycle is much greater than here so that means it's being spread it out it's being spread it out and in this way it's getting closer and closer and closer to the mainland now let us zoom in again now you will see lots of places 
and this particular map is showing the path along with approximate wind speed you can see here on the right side of the map at the bottom point on the right side of the map there is a wind speed legend and from there we can have a basic idea of its effect that means what will be the approximate speed in knots or in mile per hour now let us move on this particular point okay as you see at this particular point amphan will become category 1 hurricane and that will happen around 16 hours from now that means already here as you see this particular point is on indian mainland that means after reaching the indian mainland it is sundarban in the state of west bengal the speed of the super cyclone will decrease to 81 mile per hour still it is dangerous now the cyclone will move along this path as you can see lots of small towns or villages now here it is the major city the capital of west bengal that is kolkata so the super cyclone will travel over kolkata and as you can see from this particular legend we can have the basic idea of the speed so approximately it will have 120 to 130 km per hour speed when it will travel through kolkata again you can see lots of other towns both in india as well as in bangladesh this is bangladesh this is india this is west bengal this is bangladesh bakra konnagar ramnagar singur so lots of small towns we are seeing sridampur tarkeshwar haripur ramchandrapur kollani pandua kalna memory so all these are towns will be affected by amphan in some way or other way now the cyclone will move towards the northern part of west bengal and as you see as you see our fourth point our fourth point is here our fourth point is here that is within bangladesh if you look at the map carefully this is the international border so this part is west bengal and that part is in bangladesh so point 4 it's in bangladesh and now you can see amphan has become a tropical storm from a hurricane or from a cyclone and its speed will be reduced to 52 mile per hour and it will happen on thursday 21st may 2020 5:30 am that is more than one day from now so as you can see the speed of the super cyclone will decrease heavily and it happens in case of each and every cyclone because at this particular point when it will enter the mainland it will lose its strength the speed will decrease and when it will move towards the north part more and more deep within the mainland gradually the speed will decrease now as you see we move 
further north and here the last point of our tracking system and here you can see the strength has decreased much and now the cyclone Amphan has become a tropical depression and it will happen 21st May 5.30 pm and at that point the speed will be reduced to 35 mile per hour and it's again within India it's in Assam yes it's in Assam so that is northeastern part so ultimately the cyclone will become the depression and ultimately it will lose its strength so as you see friends this is the way we can track the path this is the way we can measure the strength of a cyclone and the entire model is mathematical in nature and this particular model has been created through softwares, artificial intelligence and real life simulation with the help of spaghetti models and as you can see this particular models are very very interesting and it gives you many information the movement the path at the same time the speed approximate time detail when it will reach to a particular point so the model is simply amazing and you can see approximately it shows the right path and using this particular model any types of cyclone or hurricane can be tracked the path of the hurricane can be tracked and its speed can be measured so that's it